As you heard before the break, despite that updated guideline from the CDC, many scientists are still concerned that contaminated surfaces could transmit the coronavirus. And with all states now scheduled to reopen in some fashion or other tomorrow, we wanted to see what that might mean for people who eat at restaurants and may be exposed to germs or even coronavirus droplets. Randy Kay went to a lab in Florida to see if science can provide any answers. We'll put some in. And should I rub it all together as mm -hmm. well? This yellow tinted goo is a mixture of petroleum jelly and fluorescent solution. Right. Under an ultraviolet light, this will this will glow. Okay, and that's going to simulate germs on my hand. Correct. So this will simulate contact spread, um, you know, from you to other things that you touch and maybe touched by someone else. Dr. Patrick Hughes is an ER doctor who oversees the emergency medicine simulation program at Florida Atlantic University. Hi, ladies. Hey. Hi, Hi. He invited us to lunch, designating me the so-called spreader, so we could see how germs on my hand, which could be coronavirus droplets, could spread in a restaurant setting. At our table, we keep our masks on to protect ourselves and each other. Yeah, sure, thanks. I pour water for everyone at the table. This is great. <laughs> thanks for having us for lunch. Yes. Sure. And pass around the food. Wondering if I'm passing around the virus too. Chips? Oh yeah, awesome. Thank you. Do you want to take the yes. bowl? Thank you. We also share the salt and pepper. Then it's time to turn on the ultraviolet lights to see what I may have spread. Remember, I was the only one with what could have been the virus on my hand. You didn't have any germs on you. I was the spreader. Right. So when you look at my hands and look how it transferred to some of you just by sharing items at the table or um, a knife in this case or a water glass, I mean, even it only takes a little bit, mm -hmm. right, to make somebody else sick. How about that bowl of chips I passed around? You can see where she touched the edge of the bowl to pass it around, the simulated germs, you know, stuck right to the surface. And then everybody else touches the bowl. Same with the salt and pepper shakers and the pitcher of water. There was contact spread on the cups and menus too, even my lunch friends. This is the spot where uh, when Randy came in to have lunch with her friends, she touched um, right on the shoulder just to greet everybody. And you can see the outline of her palm print, her handprint right on the shirt. It's quite scary the amount of spread that one person can have in a room like that. We also wanted to see what would happen if you're out for lunch or dinner with a friend or your family at a restaurant and somebody coughs. So let's turn out the lights and let's see the cough. There were now more droplets on the bowl of chips, the menus, and the water pitcher too. Look at what happened to the fork after that simulated cough. Those would be real germs if that was a real cough. On my fork, I would have picked up the fork, not being able to see those germs with the naked eye. Even the woman sitting to my right, several feet away from the mannequin that coughed, had droplets on her face. You can see it's on her face, her glasses, her mask. If she wasn't wearing a mask, she would have breathed it in. Correct. And Randy joins us now. So what did the, the doctor there advise when it comes to dining out? I, I mean, uh, obviously, don't be sharing uh, menus and other items. Right. I mean, it was pretty gross, Anderson, as you could see. So the doctor that we spoke with, I asked him, I said, so would you go out? And granted, he's very busy working in the ER, but he said, no, I would not go out to eat right now. He said, people really should think long and hard about that. But the real question is, can you protect yourself if you do go out? And the problem is, Anderson, as you know, you can't wear a mask if you're eating out. You can't wear gloves, depending on the kind of food you're eating. And in some of these cities, you can't even social distance because the restaurants are very tight quarters. So that makes it difficult too. And you don't just leave it at the restaurant. I used my telephone as we all do. We keep it on the table, you know, when we're eating out somewhere with friends, maybe to take a picture or just to take a call. And then you take your cell phone from that restaurant, which has the simulated germs on it, or perhaps the real germs. You take it home, you put it in your car, maybe you take it to the bank or the store and you just keep spreading it. So that's all part of the problem, Anderson. Hmm. Randy, appreciate it. Randy Kay, thanks so much.